What up y'all and welcome back to another one. Oh, check it out. We got three guys, one small boat and about 12 motion decoys. This is your boat, Evan. Tell yeah. us a little bit about her. Um, it's a 14 foot low with a 2000 Mercury six horse. Six horse. This is the boat Nick wishes he had. <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, y'all seen the last public uh, duck boat hunt with Nick, uh, his bad you know what boat. We're just sending it today. Today is the, uh, we were gonna do only 10, but somehow we ended up with 12. The 12 motion decoys. We got mojos, we got butt squirters. What all did you bring, Press? Oh, a whole lot of stuff. We're gonna have to wait till we set it up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we got more motorized decoys and you could shake stick at them. but no blabbing i i don't have fred today we're gonna be standing in the water we're gonna get out there we're gonna get set up and then i'll show you the spread of we don't even we didn't even bring any floaters any normal floaters did we well they're sitting in the boat and they're gonna stay there yep yep motion decoys only oh yeah oh what? you're all right you're all right i was in your way oh she's a purring little merc yeah dude she's purring cruising right along oh yeah this is what we're talking about, boys. Well, trying to find our spot here, slowly but surely. Preston, you want to know what you remind me of? What? That scene on Titanic. <laughs> well, there's that beautiful Kansas sunrise coming over <laughs> our 12 motion decoys. So. I'm gonna start from left to right here. Uh, we got, I don't know how many mojos, one, two, three, four, five. Five duck mojos, one dove mojo, and a bunch of other stuff. I will show you guys the setup once the sun comes up and once we start shooting a little bit here, but. I guess we have 13 instead of 12 motion decoys. Look what Preston brung, oh yeah, old quacker smacker. You know the deal. Well, first shots of the day, here's a stream of birds. Uh, shooting light today is 712. Little tip to all my beginners out there. Uh, most places, I know Kansas, I'm not gonna talk about your state in, in, in general, you need to check your laws, but in Kansas you can shoot 30 minutes before sunrise. But you have to stop shooting at sunset, not 30 minutes after. Make sure you understand the difference. All right, boys, it's all up to you to get this day started off right. Low light like this, I gotta use a big camera. Hope y'all are enjoying the video so far. I can tell you what, what we were talking uh, before shooting light here, and I'm like, if there's anybody on the road with binoculars, look at all them ducks to the back left. If there's anybody with binoculars watching us from the road and seeing our spread, they're gonna, they're, there's no way they'll think it's me. <laughs> it is the goofiest, funniest spread you've ever seen in your life. Ever since Preston mentioned doing this, y'all have been lighting me up in the comments saying get out there, do the 10 mojo challenge. We're doing it. Smash the thumbs up button. Let's get this video rocking and rolling. Let's get her to 5K in a hurry. I appreciate you. Shoot. It's a good group. I really need a teal call. <laughs> Shoot them, boys. Oh, oh my God. Come on, boys. <laughs> wow. I'm not sure if it could have gotten any closer. <laughs> well, that was the problem. He was, it like, was really close. With a full choke in, that's a tough shot. Yeah. Well, first shots of the day. What was that? Teal. I couldn't even, was it a teal? Yeah. I couldn't tell in the camera. Well, what have we shot? Three, you guys have shot, I have not shot. You guys have shot twice, I believe. Big swings, big misses. But I want to show you guys the hide situation. It's actually really cool. Yeah, got a little cove here. Got the panel blind in front and the boat behind us. Really nice little setup. Preston and I are going out here to uh, rearrange our uh, pro spread. You know, we are the professional duck hunters out here. <laughs> We're going to move it out a little bit. We got it pretty close. Probably 15 yards. We're gonna scoot some of our electronic decoys out. I want to show you a couple of them. We got the flock flicker. We got the one arm paddler just doing circles. 
Then, then we got my two mojos here. We got three more mojos, one being a dove. And then over here, you brought your special. This one's actually really cool. He just swims around, almost resembles a quacker smacker. Yeah. But another electronic deal. Yeah, no. Hey, I don't recommend doing this as far as a uh, as far as a spread, but you guys, you guys recommended it so much after old Preston had to mention it and say that we were gonna do it. We're out here doing it, and it ain't working. We're having fun though. We're having fun. The hide is amazing, dude. I'll show you the I'll show you behind the panel blind in one second. But we're on big water, real big water today. And I mean, really, really big water. Here we go. <laughs> Dude, it just, all you see is just strobes. <laughs> One thing about the bottoms here, uh, it always has like a nine o'clock flight time. And uh, that's usually when I have shot a lot of my ducks when you have fair weather like this. So we're gonna stick it out to about nine, 930. Cross our fingers. Probably won't shoot anything, but oh well. Can guarantee you now that big ducks open, the birds that are here have seen 10,000 mojos. So here's the uh, boat situation. What's real nice is we got a little spot behind us, being the boat where we can set our stuff. Got my camera, got all of our stuff. Good little hide, but we're not shooting. All right. Oh, he's still alive, dude. Give her another smacker quacker. Oh, definitely got it now. Well, first bird down. Way to go, Evan. We did it. Took three shells. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you got her done. <laughs> yee -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh, that was hilarious. Yeah. Landed out of nowhere. Where did it actually come from? Well, I thought, I heard you say, you're talking about those guys. I thought you were talking about that duck. I thought you were going to shoot it. But. Oh, no. No, I pulled up. Old, old Evan gave her the old swat. What yeah. is it? What do you got out there? Blue wing tail, no band. Well, there we go. The skunks, what did I say? The skunks out of the boat. That's awesome, hell yeah. Well, the luck, luck's on our side, boys. I have no clue either. I mean, it just landed out of nowhere. What do you got there, bub? There you oh go. yeah, good looking. Yeah. Real good looking bird. Oh, come on, baby. Oh, he's doing it, boys. Do not let this bird get out of here. Oh yeah. Shoot him. <laughs> yeah. yeah, boys. Yeah, dude. We did we all pull the trigger? Yeah. That was three guns. All right, I'll go get him, boys. Yeah, dude. Coasted in. You said don't let him out of here. Dude, loved it the whole way. Oh yeah. Just. So, and the same exact spot. Yeah. Uh -huh. So here's the spread. The, the ducks that have landed have landed right here. I have no idea, but this little spot is where they want to be. Yeah, that's awesome. That was good. That was real nice. We completely tore them up. There we go. Oh, old spoony baby. I knew it was a big duck. First spoonie of the year here in Kansas. You guys gotta smash a thumbs up for that bad boy. All right. Hey, the late night or late, uh, the old late flight. I I'm, wonder if we all three hit him. I have no idea. The shot cam will probably be pretty brutal. Let's play that back real quick. That was awesome all righty i'll always take a good old spoonie hell yeah boys that's what's up yeah he came from way Dude, over here he loved it he was right over the water the whole way yeah and i think it's the sun i think he probably saw it from way out well like you said earlier what did you say it'll get hopefully we're not giving the ducks what uh oh the uh sensory overload <laughs> <laughs> now that the sun's up uh, when you go out there and you're in that spread, all you see is just flashing. It's it'll it'll mess your eyes up pretty quick. I was hoping they'd land in it. 
Well, what time is it, P-Dog? 9.15. 9.15. It turned 9 o'clock, and I was like, well, how much time you want to give it? He said, 15 minutes, here we are. Two birds in the boat. I mean, I'm going to say not bad, because I didn't think we'd kill anything with this decoy spread today, to be honest with you. Uh, this might be the video, you know, you just don't go do this. Maybe we did it, so you guys don't go do it. Nail it. Oh, right into the wind. Well, we deployed the quacker smacker, making the rounds. <laughs> oh, the best motion in the world right there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, look, these birds up to the left here. <laughs> it sounds like a mini jet ski. Not gonna lie. Oh. Oh, shit. oh yeah. In it! <laughs> You're just plowing stuff over. <laughs> Oh, that's great. Dude, it's like a little racetrack out there. Oh, what a beauty, the old quacker smacker. I don't know why everybody keeps telling me I shouldn't have got a Dodge and got a Chevy. Do you have a good answer? Uh, I don't, I don't. <laughs> I, honestly, I'd go with a Cummins. Would you? Yeah, I like Cummins, just not a power stroke. <laughs> oh. Can't imagine. Alrighty, boys, we'll see you. Yeah, see you later. Have a good one. Thanks. Ooh, ooh. Oh, it's locked. Oh, oh, it's cold. Wow. Man, the first 30 degree day that we've had uh, all year, it feels like 10 degrees to me. My goodness, that feels good. Woo. But here we are in the lodge. Come on, Fred, here. Come on, Fred. Let's go, buddy. Hurry. Woo, had to get that thermal hoodie on real quick. If you guys haven't tried out the thermal hoodies from Ducks, I'll link them down below. If you're looking for a new hunting hoodie, we got them in olive, we got them in khaki. And I always forget to tell you guys, uh, if you go over to duckswaterfowl.com and you order something, use code BOB right here. It'll give you a discount at checkout. All lowercase letters, BOB. It's easy as that. But as far as this hunt, guys, we'll get into that in one second. Check this out. Oh, yeah, buddy. Got the railing done. Look how gorgeous. It just sits it off. Hold on, let, let's, let's step back a minute. Let's get a good perspective here. I'm so excited. Worked my butt off on it yesterday. Me and Matt, big shout out to Matty P for helping me out. Actually, if it wasn't for Matt, it would not be looking that good. You know what, what even makes it look better? Check this out. Is when you turn on all the low lights and you kick off the big light. Check this out. And turn those on. There we go. I got a lot of light switches in this place. Now look. Oh, how grand does that look? It's amazing. I'm so proud of it. It took us all day. Uh, Matt, if it wasn't for him, definitely would not have got it done. Look how gorgeous the stairs and the railing is now. Look at the landing up here. I still got to put a piece of trim there, but look at this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's coming, guys. It's happening. It's really happening. You remember, all you uh, long-term subscribers, you remember how many videos we opened, we closed in the old garage, my old garage at the old house? How many people came over and stayed at my house? Uh, how many YouTubers, how many friends, how many guests I had to sleep down in my cruddy little basement. Now look where my guests get to stay. <laughs> lot of hard work, lot of effort, and that's all it took. Effort, hard work, determination, persistence, and repeating something that works. Guys, I tell you, find something that works. Find something you like and just attack it keep attacking it doesn't matter if it's dog training if it's a youtuber 
you want to become a guide, anything in the outdoor industry, anything in life in general, if you want to be successful at something, you got to work really, really, really hard. But as far as this hunt, this hunt was, uh, this was recommended by you guys. You guys wanted to see this hunt forever. Like I said, uh, ever since the last public video that me and Preston did, he was like, Bob, we should do the 10 mojo challenge. Well, we didn't actually have 10 just mojos, but we had more than 10 electronic decoys. I hope you guys liked it. I think we did it so y'all wouldn't have to. I think it would work decent um, like till opener. I, I feel like it would work pretty good actually. But big duck opener, big ducks, nah, especially public, they've seen it. They've seen tons of mojos out there. I wouldn't recommend doing it. So, but you got to let me know. What do you guys want me to do next? What videos do you want to see? You want to see some Walmart challenges? You want to see some small bore, small gauge challenges? Maybe 410, maybe, maybe not a 410. I, I really, 410 I will use on ducks, but not on geese. Uh, just for the simple fact, I don't want to wound them and, and not kill them. So, other than that, Beth and I, we are, I am taking Beth on her first ever hunting trip. And we're going to South Dakota and we're going to Flatland Flyways. It's a huge lodge there. And we're going with Federal. Federal Ammo is flying us up there. It's going to be amazing. Hopefully we'll get two or three videos out of it. You're going to get to see their grand lodge. They have a bunch going on over there, so you don't want to miss it. Uh, it puts my little lodge to shame, let me tell you. So Alex Russo, the owner of Flatland, uh, he's going to show us around and hopefully we'll have some amazing mallard hunts. That's why we're all going. Uh, this was a trip that I was supposed to go on last snow goose season in the spring, but it just didn't happen because of the big C. But now it's happening, and uh, I'm excited. Taking Beth along. No, she's not hunting, but I got her completely outfitted in uh, warm gear, and she's taking her camera, and she's going to help us make better videos uh, while we're up there, and she's going to take a lot of dope pictures. So, no, Freddie will not be able to go. He'll be back at the trainer while me and mama go hunting so it'll be fun for us a little date like vacation hunt it'll be awesome but again guys please let me know what you want to see right now here in kansas we just got our first big cold front uh, i think a lot of ducks will probably be sp spilling in the area so i'm gonna get out there um hopefully the hunting gets a little better here on public land so I'll tell you right now, the best comment, the best video suggestion down in the comments, I will pin it and put it at the top, like immediately. So please guys, drop your comment down there. I really wanna know what you guys wanna see. What do you really want to see? Think about it, give me something good. But subscribe if you haven't, hit the notification bell because it will notify you when your boy uploads. And I wanna remind you guys, every time you guys purchase something from Ducks, it goes directly to helping me bring you guys these videos. If, 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 I always say it, and I know I repeat it a lot, but I want to get it through to y'all that if you guys didn't purchase this gear for the last couple years, I wouldn't still be standing. So, thank y'all for being here, but until next time. Peace.